Hello Aquarius and welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all doing amazing. Uh, for those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome. And cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. This is a safe place for everyone. Only respect and love here for everyone. Um, now, because Aquarius, this is a general love reading, the roles can always be reversed. They can always be flipped. So Aquarius, let's simplify your reading. And that's the way Tarot should be. Um, only apply it to your situation. Pick and choose. Take what resonates um, or what I'm already confirming that you know to be true. Um, part of your story and whatever doesn't resonate um whatever you know just definitely does not make sense that's part of you know not part of your story just toss it to the side um so in saying that aquarius let's get straight into your weekly love reading i'll be using the guardian angel tarot cards um these are probably a little bit old beaten up as you can see um but i'm recommending these cards um, for those that don't kind of like the traditional imagery of tarot, you know, with the swords and all that, um, the images here are a lot more softer. It does not take away from the actual meaning of the cards, um, but they're just a little bit, as you can see, old school. They're just a lot more um, pleasing to the eye, <laughs> as you can see. So Aquarius, I really want to focus on those that are not in communication with your person i've been getting a lot of requests from a lot of my subscribers um and i do thank you for reaching out um so yeah this week i will be uh focusing on those that are not in communication so you know aquarius whether you have not spoken to your person since last week last month last year or the even before that you've been in disconnection and perhaps you know things didn't end on a good note or there's been a lot of assuming you didn't get closure, um, perhaps that your person, for example, um, they ended things very abruptly here and perhaps it's been hard for you to let go as well. So let's see, um, do you want clarity here? Any new information? Um, is there a change happening? Let's see, um, Aquarius, let's get straight into it. For those that are not in communication um, with your person, let's get some insight. Okay, so... Okay, we've got the page of action. We've also got choose freedom. Okay, so, um, yeah, ooh, okay. Interesting. So we've got the page of wands. Perhaps it will be um, some message coming your way. Let's see. I do apologize if you hear my dog barking. Only when I've got the camera on, uh, <laughs> just my dog think it's okay to start barking. So, let's see. I'll just pause. I'll put the dog away. Sorry. All right, we're back into it. My apologies for that. Um, Aquarius, my um, my little sausage dog thinks that every person walking past our house is out to get her. <laughs> she's a very good guard dog, but she's a uh, small lungs, mighty voice, I must admit. All right, let's see. For Aquarius, please, those that are not in communication, what is at the bottom of your deck? Oh, wonderful. So we've got nine of abundance. This is the nine of pentacles. So it does not take away the meaning of, you know, what, what is the meaning of these cards? Just the imagery is a lot more softer there. So we've got, you could have been dealing in the past with a Virgo, maybe it was somewhere strong in their chart. So I'm really getting here, Aquarius, that some of you have just found yourself now 100% single, where, um, how can I say this? You are alone, but you're not lonely. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, you're focusing on your career, your finances, your study. This is the minor arcana of the Empress, which is real, already pointing to me, Aquarius, that whatever you're doing with your life right now, whatever you're working towards, those necessary changes that you're doing, you are on the right path. Um, it's, a, it's a card of luxury here as well. Um, and I have to admit, it's looking pretty good, though. What else do we have? We've got the three of action. So this is wands, three of wands. And we've got the five of cups and the eight of cups. Okay, I can already see what's happening here. Some of you may actually be working a little bit extra hard here, probably just to distract yourself with what's happened though. The three of wands. Now, this is the thing. A lot of you may not be aware of this, especially if you're not talking to your person. So if you are talking to your person, I'm probably, I'm probably repeating myself here, so I do apologize. And we do have someone here that is waiting for the right moment to approach you. I do feel that it's been a really good couple of months, even close to a year. For some of you, it's been more. Um, I do see here that your person is thinking about you. You know, that three of wands, Aries energy, is that they're waiting here. They're waiting for the right moment to 
approach you, to say something to you, um, possibly Aquarius to extend that olive branch. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Now, we have the five of cups, Scorpio energy, and the eight of cups here, um, Pisces energy. Now, if you do want me to, um, if you want to take a screenshot, if you want to pause the video, um, just so you can see the other meanings that they have here, because it's quite long. So I'll just leave it there for a good um, three seconds. So what's happening here is that someone walked away from you. That's what happened. The eight of emotions, the eight of cups is when someone has, they picked up their bags and they walked away from you. Perhaps they were breadcrumbing you for far too long. Um, they ghosted you, they did a runner, or they just gave you some excuse here, which you never accepted as to why they couldn't be with you. This is the thing though. I'm seeing that you're very disappointed with that five of cups um, in regards to how things ended, but um, they're regretting it. And perhaps that's why they're waiting for the right moment. There's been some sort of delay as to why they haven't approached you yet. Um, I do feel here that they're slightly intimidated by you. You've really kind of upped your A-game here in regards to your professional life as well. Um, I see a lot of you is really taking care of yourself and just being independent and thriving. Not just living, you're, it's not surviving, you're just thriving here. They are very regretful over what happened here. Three of Abundance, that is the three of um, Pentacles here. Yeah, they want to be part of your team again. Some of you, perhaps some of you actually did study or work together. Um, that's not for all of you, though. That's Capricorn energy here, by the way. Um, yeah, and we've got the celebration card. So, yeah, they do wish to um, come together and celebrate with you. Mm. Oh, wow. This is a star card. That's your, um, as you can see, celebrate there. Yeah, so that is your energy. That's Aquarius energy. So they do wish to celebrate with you once more. So this is quite interesting, though. There's a sense of destiny, of healing here. Um, this disconnection, Aquarius, uh, it has been temporary and it really doesn't matter how long it's been. It seems like it was permanent, but that's not happening. Um, okay. We have go within. Interesting. This is a high priestess energy. So, um, we've got more Pisces energy here. So really it's already telling me right now, um, there have been some secrets in the past. Perhaps your person was holding back, not being, uh, God knows what they were hiding. Um, maybe you know this Aquarius, maybe you don't. Um, what they're doing right now is that they're keeping their regret and their emotions very under wraps here. For some of you, maybe there was also a third party. You know, when I see threes, it doesn't always mean infidelity. Perhaps it was someone or something that ultimately was the driving force here between your separation. I don't feel that you got the entire truth though, Aquarius, about why this person walked away from you, why they disconnected. Ultimately, though, I would say within a few days, your person instantly regretted it, though. Um, but yeah, um, your intuition is kind of maybe tugging at you that perhaps this is not the entire end of this connection as well, though. So we have the guardian of thoughts. So all guardians represent kings. This is also um, because it's about thought. It's the king of um, swords. That is Aquarius energy um, right there. Wow. Yeah, you're going to be called forth here to actually speak your mind. I do feel here that your person, I don't know why I'm getting the finding you quite intimidating here. Um, but I do feel that there is something they need to get off their chest. This is about clear cut, direct communication. Um, perhaps Aquarius, you're trying to make a head over heart decision here as well. Um, and trying to be logical about this, but uh, mm, there is something here. And I will be clarifying these cards. There is something they need to get off their chest. We do have the five of action, five of wands. That is Leo energy. Mm, I'm thinking perhaps things didn't end on the best note. See, the fives, yes, they're about transformation, transition. It's about change. It can also be about regret here. I feel that maybe there were too many people around this connection. I don't feel, Aquarius, that you were the problem here or the challenge. I feel the people around your person... Um, they were outside looking in, being very judgmental here as well. Yeah. See, this is when people want to challenge you to your face, as opposed to the uh, the Seven of Swords, where it's very sneaky, it's behind you, um, it, like, you know, doing stuff behind your back. There could have been competition for your person's attention here as well. But, yeah, ultimately, there, there were too many people here. It is about conflict, confrontation, um, arguments and tension here. I believe you, maybe your person is a little bit worried as well that if they do reach out, ultimately, which I see that they will, um, that this could also erupt into another argument, for example. Because they possibly, when we get that card, it's like they don't know how is it that you're going to receive them. Yeah. Out with the old and in with the new. Oh, wow. Time to move on into a new direction here. I feel like a lot of you here have really been thinking about um, moving on. Some of you actually have moved on. 
as it says, you can see right there, it's saying here, um, out with the old, in with the new, the new, often this is because you're not happy and feel a lack of purpose in your life. So honestly, I do see your person coming back. Yeah. And do not think that you're sloppy seconds because you're not Aquarius. I just feel here that you, you know, honestly, you worked hard to let this person go and you've moved on. And just when that happens, boom, they actually come back to, there is a message here. There is something they need to tell you. They need to get it off their chest. So what's the beating heart of your reading here? The five of abundance, five of pentacles, that is a Taurus energy. So there are definitely abandonment issues here. Would not be surprised if your person, yeah, I feel like either they, they did a run out, they ghosted you, they blocked you. Um, yeah, and honestly, it made you feel very unloved, very disappointed by this person because it felt like it was just so easy for them to let you go and move on to someone or something else. Um, again, your person is a little bit worried about coming back and then, you know, it's like the sock is on the other shoe that you end up rejecting them, that you end up abandoning them. So all these vibes really are representing their energy here as well. What else do we have? We have the guardian of emotion. Yeah. So this is the king of cups, strong Scorpio energy. One thing your person is regretting here, because the fives are all about regret. Don't get me wrong. It's that they didn't fully express their emotions to you. They didn't fully express what was exactly in their heart and in their mind. They should have been more honest with you. It feels like they took the easy route and they just left. Instead of, you know, seeing you face to face and just saying the truth here. So was it a bit cowardly? I'm going to say yes. They took the easy route. Um, I do feel here that your person has grown up emotionally, though. I think they were forced to. It's almost like they found themselves on their own. It's like, oh, I don't have Aquarius anymore. No more Aquarius. Oh. Mm. Four of emotion is a four of cups, cancer energy. Your person's missing you. I feel here that your person could be a little bit um, apathetic now towards himself, towards people, situation and events here. Um, they are a little bit worried that now this is indeed a missed opportunity that you have really said out with the old and in with the new that you've actually moved on because I have two kings here as well Aquarius um, male or female does not matter um, perhaps you actually have moved on to someone else or you have your eye on someone else maybe someone else has piqued your interest and now your person here is being quite sad despondent depressed here without you hmm is it too late Aquarius that's the question is it too late let's continue what else do we have we have the spiritual teacher. Yeah. Okay, so this is my hermit card, Virgo energy here as well. So your person is a little bit in self-imposed isolation here, a bit of solitude. They're definitely not going around dating, sleeping with random people, partying. No, honestly, they have learned their lesson. That's why they're coming back with that king energy, not with that page um, or the knight energy. They've really grown up. They have learned their lessons here. Um, they have attained wisdom as in, I will never do that again. I can't even believe I did it, but they have some hard lessons here as well. Aquarius, you've gained a lot of wisdom and, and lessons here as well. Has it been easy? Absolutely not. But we end here with, okay, I don't know why the task asked me to get two cards. Okay, so the three of thoughts, that's the three of swords, Libra energy and the nine of cups. Pisces energy. Spirit said to get one more. The Ten of Thought. Yeah, this is the Ten of Swords. Um, that's Aquarius energy, by the way. This person really, really, really broke your heart. I have to say it. They're thinking about you because there you are. You're at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there indeed was a third party here. They broke your heart. In the end, they broke their heart as well. You were the wish fulfillment. But in saying that, it's almost like they stole, like they stole your happiness here, which is... It's a shame, the ten, um, ten of Swords, it is, yeah, there's a lot of sadness here in regards to what they did to you. I'm definitely not going to sugarcoat this, Aquarius. Um, yeah, it is about loss, separation, divorce, feeling betrayed and cheated by this person, by the situation, how they handle things as well. And um, yes, you know, you've got two wish cards here. Yes, you are their wish fulfillment, but their actions are saying what they did in the past, it does not make sense, I have to admit. Um, I feel like they were very careless. That's what happened here. They didn't give much thought into what they were doing. And now it's like, oh, wait, hang on a second. I want Aquarius back. This could actually make you a little bit frustrated, quite angry with this person because it's like they had you. They had Aquarius. They had your heart. And it's like they trampled all over it. So, yeah, three of cups, cancer energy. They do want a reunion with you. But what about this third party? You know, is this third party still hanging around? So, yeah, see, Nine of Swords, they do regret what they've done. Gemini energy and the Chariot, Cancer energy, um, they are charging back. They are very determined here to win you back. 
We've got that five of cups again. But uh, yeah, they're crying over spilt milk now, really berating themselves over what they've done. But yeah, I don't know, Aquarius, if you do actually want to even hear this person. Perhaps you will, you know, accept their apology. There's the King of Cups again. So yeah, is there a lot of love towards you? Absolutely. But I know for you, Aquarius, actions are much more important. So Eight of Wands, Sagittarius, yeah, they're going to message you. Ooh. Let's clarify these cards. The Empress, Taurus energy. Oh, okay. They're holding you in high regard here. Absolutely. Oh, they want to give birth to this once more. They want to create this relationship again. Should you let them? I don't know if you will, though, Aquarius. The, the, the hurt here, the disappointment. I mean, they gave you the Five of Cups, the Three of Swords, the Ten of Swords here. Oh. I just feel like, Aquarius, they didn't have your back towards the end. There was no, they didn't protect you. They didn't stick up for you. Do you really want to go back to someone? I mean, because I, I feel this hesitation that perhaps they will do it again. Yeah, see, Two of Swords, Libra Energy. See, you're, it's like analysis paralysis. You're really thinking about this. Given the opportunity, would you actually take this person back? I feel like you're not going to answer straight away. Perhaps you don't even want to talk to them straight away, which really, in a way, Aquarius, I don't blame you. Um, it's like you've got one foot in, one foot out. You're really trying to make a head over heart decision here. Um, this could also be about procrastinating. It's like, I don't want to respond to them today. They are watching you, Page of Swords. They're watching you like a, like a hawk, really. This is um, the messenger here. Yeah, so part of the message will be about what they did to you. So we've got the Five of Pentacles twice. Um, yeah, the, there's very strong abandonment issues here, Aquarius. What they did to you was not nice. Five of Wands again. Ooh. There's that Knight of Wands, my traveling knight. Yeah, they're going to charge towards you because this person still loves you. But boy, did they screw up, Aquarius. I don't know if you even want to give this person the time of day. So let's clarify the, um, the High Priestess, Six of Wands, Leo Energy. So they want this to be very successful. They want to be reaching out to you when they confess a lot of things to you. Um, it's also about confessing new secrets, knowledge, more information here to you, more conversations. They want it to be successful. Um, there's a lot of nervous energy Aquarius around them. I'm getting more frustrated, angry energy towards them. Um, so let's continue clarifying here the, um, the King of Wands. We have the Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. So why is your person feeling stuck? So if you're wondering, why didn't they reach out sooner? Why didn't they reach out within the week or, you know, within the month when this happened? Um, they were feeling quite stuck here. Now, if there was a third party, they were feeling stuck because of this third party here as well. Um, so there is a lot of nervous energy. There's a lot of anxiety, possible depression here as well. On challenging days, though, they didn't reach out because they thought, well, how can I heal this? Aquarius probably hates me. They want nothing to do with me, for example. Um, yeah, they're listening to a lot of the BS in their mind. Um, they just need to take that blindfold off and approach you and just lay everything out on the table. No more secrets, no more lies, no more assumptions. Just get to the facts. So clarifying the um, five of wands, we have you, the star. Major Arcana, therefore, Aquarius, you've come out twice. Oh, very interesting. I mean, you are pretty much all they think about. Um, major regret here of what they did to you. Major regret that they possibly allowed outside people or outside influences here to break you apart. Got a lot of wish cards here. So, yeah, you are their wish fulfillment, though. I don't know exactly how you feel towards them. I feel like you've also tried to remove emotions now. You were forced to be reckoned with, Aquarius. Um, no wonder they're a little bit worried here about approaching you. Clarifying here now the, as I call it, out with the old, in with the new. Here's a high priestess again. Your intuition here is literally tugging at you. For some of you, Aquarius, you know whether it's a healthy choice to let this person in, to hear them out. For some other of you, um, you're already kind of your intuition is saying no. Do not give this person the time of day. It will be different for all of you. Um, but you definitely could be connecting here on a soul level. I mean, there is obviously a soul connection here as well. Um, doesn't mean it's always going to go perfect, though. In this instance, your person really shot themselves in the foot here. They sabotage this connection. Yes, they've learned the lesson, but is it too late? Clarifying the Five of Pentacles is the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy. So major regret that they did invest in this. Um, it's almost like huge regret that they pulled the plug on this connection when there was so much potential. I mean, yes, they want to invest in this. 
yes, they want to nurture this connection and watch it grow. Um, but you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if you start rolling your eyes right now saying, please, um, I understand where you're coming from, Aquarius. Absolutely. You know, I am, I don't know, I feel like your energy is a lot more higher than theirs. Hmm. Uh, clarifying here, the King of Cups here, we have the Ace of Pentacles. This, this is what they want to offer you. A solid new beginning. Where there is an ending, there is always a beginning. So this is relationships, commitment, stability. This could possibly lead, if you know, if you gave them the time of day, if you responded, Aquarius, this could lead to very committed relationship, engagement, and marriage as well. Brand new, solid beginning. This is what they'll be offering you. I feel like they'll be doing it quite soon so you don't get away. Okay, clarifying the Four of Cups. Okay, we've got the Four of Swords, Libra Energy. Yeah, your person's picking up now, building up their mental strength because they know they will need it. It's a, I see here that also you're in this mode of self-protection, um, self-healing, self-love at the moment. I'm wondering if it's you or your person. I'm picking up some mental exhaustion here as well. Um, perhaps it's been all work and no play, um, but your person is building up their mental strength. They will need it. They will need it because you are ruled also by thoughts here, Aquarius. Um, so they know that clear-cut communication, they're going to need it. They're nervous though. Let's clarify the Hermit. Ten of Pentacles. Virgo energy. So we've got very strong Virgo on this pile right now. Um, so what are they thinking about is that they want long term with you. You know, the Ten of Pentacles is like my other happily ever after. They do wish to have a relationship with you that, that is built on a solid foundation, carrying on family traditions or, you know, the traditional um, marriage here, for example. Um, yeah, having that dream life dream house, having the children, the dog and the cat and all that. Um, they want commitment with you. They will be verbalizing this. Um, I kind of feel that you may think this is too good to be true. Like, why now? Why not before? Um, I think they may explain to you that if there was a third party, they were being held back by them. I don't know if you really want to waste your time with this person anymore, though. Clarifying the ending with the Four of Wands, Aries Energy. So that is my marriage card. Yeah, and the Three of Pentacles again. They wish to be part of, you know, Team Aquarius now. Yeah, the Fool there, they're, they're going to take that leap of faith, though. Yeah, we end with Judgment. Scorpio and possibly Libra as well. They'll be asking for a second chance. I feel like they're very serious, though. In the past, I didn't get that they were serious at all. Um, they may have been breadcrumbing you, giving you false wishes, false hopes, and it's almost like, I'm, I'm not going to say that you fell for it in a bad way. You fell for it because it, it was wonderful. I would have fallen for it as well. Um, they do wish to have a happy reconciliation here as well. Yep. They want to be, you know, Team Aquarius, and they're going to be asking for a second chance. Don't get me wrong, Aquarius. I'm definitely not excusing what they did to you in the past because it was a pretty crappy thing what they did. What they're offering you right now is kind of solid. It is, I'm going to say it's very solid. They are very serious about it as well. Their intuition is telling them as well. Um, to step forth now, be courageous, face you, Aquarius. Oh, God. This, I feel like this is going to happen sooner rather than later, to be honest. Yeah, and all these pentacles really represent their intention of giving you that security and that stability here. You know, that firm foundation to start on the right foot this time and making it better than ever. So interesting, though. The only thing here is that it does fall on you. I don't know, this could be, a, a, I suppose, a good problem to have um, because it, it ultimately does fall on your shoulders. Um, you'll be making that decision to even respond to them or not. So what do you want to do? Yeah, see, two of wands. Yeah, you're going to make a decision. I feel like you're going to have a, a, a conversation. It could even be through text, I'm seeing, um, back and forth. Having a conversation, um, clearing out the air as well, removing assumptions on all those cobwebs. Ultimately, it will be your decision here. Yeah, but they're going to make it very clear, Aquarius, what they want with you. And they want a brand new beginning, a solid one, better than ever before. So Aquarius, um, I will leave this here. Now, bear in mind with these swords, this could happen within a few weeks as well. So yeah, a couple of months. Yeah, it, I don't. there's probably a reason why um, you've come across this reading or why so many of you requested this reading. This is certainly not over. Um, according to your person, this is over. That's the thing. <laughs> um, yeah, they're going to try and bring it back to life. So Aquarius, I will leave this here. I hope it gave you some insights. This is certainly not over. Um, yeah, and I will definitely see you in the next couple of days, Aquarius, and I wish you the very, very best. Take care. Bye.